And that whole carbon to nitrogen, I mean, you're, you're seeing some, some instances where you could, you could produce 120 units of usable in per acre with covers. Did that on a fella in the bottoms in, uh, off the Green River shoot. That was years ago before there was 100 bushel beans. He had 100 bushel beans on the count of it. We did a little bit of vetch and did the math there. And if memory serves, it was around 122 to 126 pounds of usable nitrogen on that right there. So that's the hard way. It is the hard way. So all these 400 companies are out here. We're offering simpler. They're offering the farmer simpler, faster ways to correct this this problem. What? But as a farmer, how do you know what to use? Ask the right people or do your research. I mean, good information is out there, but you've really got to look for it. You've really got to look for it. And you also got to... This is a systemic approach. Like, we can't keep farming the way we were and just keep introducing things. I mean, I'm not saying you can't because it would be incrementally better. However, you're not going to get to where you want to go. You know, so your question is, how do you know? Is <laughs> So so that's other the you gotta big question. To fail. You got to be willing to fail some, but yeah, you know, go ahead. I'm, I mean, we don't want to be just high yield farmers. We want to be high ROI farmers. That's it. That is it. That's, that's the volume that we need to be dealing in is money. Money, yeah. Money, yep. So, so that's the that's the whole the whole crux, and then how that's what we plan to do here is just try to pave a way to show people some some small steps to start mm-hmm. taking. And I think you know, like every, I think a, a great seed treatment or in furrow is the best is outside of cover crops. Well, no, counting cover crops is probably the easiest way to start. Probably the easiest way to start. Yeah. 